Our dashboard is almost done. So we have all of our cards, the charts, and then we have our table. This button is working. All of this information is up to date. Now we just have to work on this button right here, okay? So that we can export to Excel, which is gonna be the information on in this table. So if I click this, obviously nothing's gonna happen because we don't have any event listening on this button. And this is gonna be pretty simple. All we have to do is to create a downloadable link to this table. And then uh, we'll just pass in the um, raw HTML encoded uh, value for this table, which is gonna be like a huge string. So let me show you how this can be done. So let's go back to the application. I'm just gonna go to the ETS file and then close this. So we can put this function anywhere. Let's go down maybe after we initialize the charts and we're gonna create another function. So I'm gonna do public and I'm just gonna call it export table to Excel. You can name it whatever you want. Um, it's not gonna take any parameters. Going to avoid open and close curly braces for the body of the function. So, like I said, we just have to create a downloadable link. Okay, so we're going to create a constant download link. Oops. And we're just going to set this equal to document, create element. And of course, this is going to be a link. Okay, so the anchor type. And then we have to get, uh, we have to define the data type. We could just pass this in as a string, but I'm just gonna define it here. So data type. And here, this is gonna equal to application. So the same way you have like application.json and things like that, then you have to define what type of data um, this is gonna be. And the way you do this is to do VDV uh, application slash vnd.ms, I guess stands for Microsoft and then Excel like that so that you can tell the browser what type of data it is so that you can encode it properly and then we're gonna define another one which is gonna be the table so let's get the table so this is gonna be um document oops document get element by id and we're gonna get the table just like you would get any element on the DOM. So let's go back. I don't know if I define an ID for this table. So here's the table on line 86, and there's an ID here, HTTP trace table. So we need to copy this and then get the table. So another thing we have to do, which is like super important, we have to change the uh, outer HTML of the table and replace all the space with um, dollar sign 20, which is the um, URL encoded equivalent of space. We're just trying to get rid of all the spaces. I'm gonna do constant uh, table, let's do table HTML or something. And then we have to set it to the actual table that we got. So the table, oops, I can't really type tonight. I don't know uh, what's going on. And then access the outer HTML. And then all we have to do is to replace all of the space with the encoded um, value for that. And to do this, you pass into, um, you pass in the forward slash, space, forward slash, and then a G, and then you pass in what you want to replace it with, which is gonna be percent 20. And percent 20 is just the equivalent of space in URL encoding. So replacing all the space with 20, that's all. Because we need the actual uh, raw HTML so that we can pass it to the link so that you can download it. And in here, all we have to do, um, let's define a name for this file. So it's a constant file name. And I'm just gonna set this equal to some file. So let's do HTTP trace, something HTTP trace. So HTTP trace and that X um, LS. So you have to be specific as to what the extension is. All of this is gonna be used to compress the file to the um, proper format. So we have the file name, the type of file, and we get a hold of the file or the table, and then we get rid of all the space in the outer HTML. So now we can just add this to the body. So let's do document dot body, which is like the whole body of the application, up in child, and we're just gonna put in that specific link inside of it. So we're gonna do download link and then now for this link 
remember we need to when we click on it we need the download to happen at the same time so we're gonna give it an href which is down here and we're gonna set this equal to data and we need to add the data type so this data type here and then we need to put in some space and then we have to add in the table the raw table which is gonna be this table html oops i didn't mean to do that and then now since we're gonna download this so we have to pass in the file name to this actual link so we're gonna do get this link dot download and then pass it the name so the file name so as you can see we didn't have to define this we could have just passed in the string here actually this is a better implementation this is redundant so we don't need this just pass in the name like this and delete this variable and then all we have to do at this point is to just click the link so get that link Oops. and then click it okay so this is pretty simple what this uh, function is doing so it's a simple function doesn't take any parameters return void we create a link uh, uh, a downloadable link or just an anchor element and then we get the we define the type of data so if, you, if that if that was like json so that would be application slash json since it's an excel then we specify the excel and then we get the table which is like the html like when you get a document you get the actual html element and then for the outer html we're just going to replace all the space with the url encoded value for that so that's space uh, percentage 20 and then we add this linked to the body of the document of the page itself or wherever and then for the href we specify the data type and the actual data coming from the table so you can see this is like an like a url encoded for a picture so you put in the um you know data colon and then the actual data type and then the actual data you probably have seen this before if you've worked with um you know url encoding of uh, pictures and then for the link we pass in the actual name of the file and then we just click it because we want everything to happen whenever they click on the button so now all we have to do is to just use this function so i'm just going to copy the name go back here and let's see here where it says in this button where it says uh export to excel i'm just going to put a click listener and then set it equal to our function just like that and save it so now if we go ahead and try this in the browser so let me save this let me open the terminal so to open the terminal you don't do new terminal because that's just gonna open a new terminal it's just kind of quick like i just do this and then i can select the terminal that i want so let me delete that second one and the quick way to do this so if you close this because you need more space to work on uh, on this here so you just have to go to view and open view and then just type term terminal or whatever and then click it then it should it should open okay so you can already see this is compiled successfully so let's go ahead and give this a try in the browser i'm gonna save it one more time let's go back and let this refresh so now if we click this button you can see the file gets downloaded here and we can open it and let's say yes and as you can see we have all the data here okay so we can enable editing and it's like our normal you know uh, excel uh, spreadsheet we can put all borders and everything okay so so that's all we have to do here so our button is working and i'll see you guys in the next one